Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of Carnot map in detail. Carnot map, simply called as K map. It is a systematic approach for simplifying the complex Boolean expression. So it is mainly used to simplify the complex Boolean functions. It is also known as weight diagram because this map method was first proposed by weight and then modified by Carnot. This K map contains square boxes called cells. For n variables, there are 2 power n cells. Let's discuss the K map formation. For one variable, that is n is equal to 1, there are only 2 cells. 2 power 1 is equal to what? 2 cells. It can be represented like this. Here, a bar a. a bar is equal to 0. Bar that means complement. That is equal to 0. And here a is equal to 1. The same can be represented like this. Here this 0 denotes the value of the cell. 0, here it is 0. Its value is 1, so it is 1. In terms of sum of products are min terms, we can represent the cell as small m naught. Okay, so here it is small m o. Okay, this cell is denoted as m1. In case of product of sum or max term, we can represent the cell as capital M O, capital M 1. So here it is nothing but 0. Okay. So in max terms, we have to represent A is equal to 0, A bar is equal to 1. So next one is 2 variable K map. Here N is equal to 2. Then there are 4 cells. 2 power 2 is equal to 4 cells. Here A represents the row. B represents the column. So A bar is equal to 0. A is equal to 1. So here this column is 0, 0. Correct? 0, 0. So its value is 0. Here it is 0, 1. Its value is 1. 1, 0. 1, 0 represents what? 2. 1, 1 means 3. Okay, so these values are the exact values of the combination of these two variables. Okay, this 0 can be represented as A bar B bar. Here 1 is A bar B. Here it is A B bar. The third, fourth one is A B. So in terms of SOP or min terms, we can represent as M0, M1, M2, M3. In in terms of max terms, we can represent the same as capital M0, M1, M2, M3. But here it is A is equal to 0, A bar is equal to 1. Likewise, B is equal to 0, B bar is equal to 1. Here we have to use the term plus because it is product of sum. Next one is 3 variable K map. So here N is equal to 3. Therefore, there are 8 cells. That is 2 power 3 is equal to what? 8 cells. Here we have to consider A as a row variable, BC as the column variables. The combination of BC as the column variables. Here, whenever we are grouping two bits together, we have to consider gray code sequence. What does mean by gray code sequence? It is a sequence of bits in which one bit changes from its previous and next bit. For example, the first value here it is 0, 0. The next one is what? 0, 1. So the next one is actually it is 1, 0 because 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So here 0, 0, 0, 1. The actual bit is 1, 0. If I am going to put 1, 0 means 2 bits are changed. Correct? If I am going to put 1, 0 for this Next column, it may be 2 bit variation. But here we are going to consider gray code sequence where only 1 bit is changed from its previous and next. So that it becomes 1, 1. So here it is 0, 0. The next one is 0, 1. So there is only 1 bit changed, right? So in the next one, it is 1, 1. And then 1, 0. So you can see 
there is only one bit changed from its previous and next bits. Okay. So here we can represent a bar that is equal to 0, a is equal to 1. Likewise, b bar c bar, b bar c, b c, b c bar. So here its value is 0, 0, 0 is 1, 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 1, 1 is 3, 0, 1, 0 is 2. Correct? Likewise here, 1, 0, 0 is 4, 1, 0, 1 is 5, 1, 1, 1, that is 7, 1, 1, 0 is 6. So we can represent this schema with its min term. M0, M1, M3, M2, M4, M5, M7 and M6. Similarly, we can draw the K map for 4 variables. So, N is equal to 4 means 2 power 4 that is equal to 16 cells. So, 16 cells here it is. A, B represent the row variables. C, D represent the column variables. Okay. So, here A bar, B bar, A bar, B. A, B, A, B bar. So, here also the same thing. Gray code sequence. There is only one bit is changed. Okay. So, only one bit is changed from its previous and next bits. Okay. So, these are the values. So, this representation is very, very important. Based on that, we can solve Boolean expression problems. After placing the values, the next step is to group the adjacent ones. We can group the adjacent ones as pairs, quarks or octates. So here pair means group of two ones. Quarks means group of four ones. Octate means group of eight ones. So let's see each one with its rule set. Let's start with grouping of pairs. Grouping of pairs means if there are two ones. Okay, there are two ones. Then we can group these two ones vertically. So, there is one more case where two ones are like this. That is, we can group two adjacent ones. In horizontal order or vertical order. So we should not group the ones like this. Okay. So one one is there. Diagonally we should not do. So this is illegal one. So if I am going to group these two like this. This is the illegal one. So diagonal grouping is not permitted in KMAP. So we can group only in vertical or horizontal order. Okay. So that's very very important. So if I am going to group the ones like this. Okay. So I have grouped it. Then the value of this group is the common term. What is the common term in this row? A bar. So here we can take A bar. What is the common term for these two columns? Here it is B. Here it is B. Here it is C. Here it is C bar. So C plus c bar is nothing but 1. Correct? So, we can simply ignore the different bits. We can take only the common bits. So, for this two ones, the common bits are a bar and here it is b. So, the answer for this two ones. Okay. These two ones can be represented as a bar b as a single expression. So, likewise for this grouping. How do you represent this? So, for this group, so which one is the common? Here it is A bar, here it is A. So, A plus A bar is a one value. So, we can ignore it. So, common value is nothing but B bar C. Is that okay? So, if I am having the values like this, finally I can write the answer as A bar B plus B C. Okay, then I can further simplify this. B is a common, then I can write A bar plus C. Okay, so this is how we can simplify the Boolean expressions. So the next one. So here, group of fours. So here I can have ones like this. There are four ones, the remaining are zero. Consider the remaining are 
zero. Then I can group the ones like this. Okay. So for this grouping, this is for group of fours. Okay. So for this grouping, what is the value of Boolean expression? So here the common term is a bar. What's that? The common term is a bar. Okay. So likewise we can group these things. So next and one more thing. Okay. So as I told you, uh, we cannot make a diagonal grouping. So likewise we cannot make a odd number of ones. Okay. So for example, there are one, one, one. Okay. There are one, one, one. I should group these three ones because it is three odd number of ones. We have to make a group only with an even number of ones. Okay. So next one is. So in this case, if I'm having the values like this one and one here, the remaining terms are zero. Assume the remaining terms are zero. How do we group this? So we can group these two bits like this. Okay, because the zero, zero and one, zero. That is leftmost column and rightmost column. Okay, so both are considered as a adjacent one because they differ by only one bit. Here it is 0, 0. Here it is 1, 0. Only one bit is changed means it is a adjacent column. So we can group like this also. So next we are going to group 4 bits and 8 bits. So if there are ones like this 1, 1, 1, 1. So we can group the bits like this. That is adjacent four ones together as a quads. It is all it is called as what? Quads. Okay. So what's its value here? So for these two rows, the common terms are here it is only one common term. A bar, A bar. Correct? Here it is B bar, here it is B. So we can consider only the common term. Here it is A bar. What about these two columns? Here C bar, here it is C, D and D. So we can take D alone. This is the answer for this grouping. Okay, so and likewise we can group the ones as squares in vertical order or in the horizontal order. Okay, this can also be allowed. There is only one in this okay, place. What will happen? There is only one in this place. We can connect this one with this next adjacent cell. So here overlapping, so overlapping is allowed. This is the overlapping method. Okay, so overlapping is allowed in KMAP method. So whenever we are going to solve the problems, you can understand it in a better way. Okay, so next one is 8 bits. So 8 bits means here you can say 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we can group this 8 bits. In a horizontal order or in a vertical order. Okay, so this is how we can make a octets. So next, let me tell you one thing. There are ones. Okay, so consider there is no other values. There is only one like this. How do we group this? So ignore this value. So there are ones in all the corners. Okay, so how do we group this means we can group all together like this. So here we can group all together like this because here it is 0, 0, here it is 1, 0, only one bit is changed. Likewise, here it is 0, 0, here it is 1, 0, only one bit is changed. Correct. So these four bits can be grouped as a single quartz. Okay. So for that, the expression is for this two row, the common term is what? B bar. So we can take B bar for these two columns. Common term is here it is C bar, here it is C. So it is C is not coming here. Here it is D bar, here it is D bar. So the answer is D bar. So this is the expression for these four ones. In K map, each group of ones represents a product term. And summation of all the product terms gives us a Boolean expression. So we can say each product term is an implicant of the Boolean expression. Hence it is called as implicant. Prime implicants. 
it is the largest possible group of ones okay so prime implicants means it represent the largest possible group of ones in a k map there is one more implicant that is what essential prime implicant it is a prime implicant which is having at least a single one which cannot be combined in any other way that is there is only one possible way of grouping so for example in this schema the values are given like this okay so we are going to form a group of ones here so we can make a group of four ones like this this is one group then here two ones are there so these two ones can be combined along with this two right so this is the group of another four ones and then this one this one along with this one okay so this is also possible there are th three implicants sorry there are three implicants like this one this is one implicant and then this group of fours okay this is the next implicant and this is the third implicant okay so here there are three implicants of this three implicants there are two prime implicants that is the grouping of large number of ones there are four ones here there are four ones in this group also right so there are two prime implicants and what about the essential prime implicants so in this group here in this group there is a possibility of making a group of ones like this this two this two this two and this two like that likewise here also we can make a group with this and along with this column right so here for this group there is only one this one cannot be combined with any other groups except this one this one is having the combination of this two alone okay it cannot be combined with any other groups so here it is called as essential prime implicant limitations of k map so here k map is a convenient method only up to four or five variables because as we know that it is a map method where we are having cells the cell is based on the number of variables to power n if n is equal to 7 so n is equal to 7 means 2 power 7 is equal to what 128 so we need to have 128 sets so if the number of variables increases it becomes more difficult to simplify the expressions due to the excessive number of cells that is it is difficult to plot and group the best selection of pairs of one okay so that's why we are moving on to some other methods if the number of variable increases okay